Hi, I'm Ken German, Senior Managing Editor here at CNET. Today we're going to take a first look at the LG Escape for AT&T. Now, we've long said at CNET that LG has an image problem, and its image problem is it doesn't really have one. It hasn't hit a lot of home run devices here in the U.S., and it doesn't have a lot of duds either. And this phone is a perfect example of that. It's perfectly serviceable, but it doesn't really offer anything we haven't seen before, and it doesn't offer anything particularly special. Uh, it does have a nice solid feel on the hand. do like the ribbed material that runs all the way around the edge. There is a 4.3-inch display. It is QHD. It doesn't have the brightest resolution so that we've seen, so it's not going to compare with maybe the Galaxy S3 or something like that. But skipping on the screen specs does keep the price a little low. It is only $49 with a contract, which is nice. So you get five home screens. I like that the phone does support ice cream sandwich. So not quite jelly bean, but uh, at least it gets ice cream sandwich. So all the features you'd expect from there. Of course, you could personalize that display with all the folders and widgets and everything you need. Inside, uh, you'll find the menu design, just what you'd expect. The feature set is pretty mid-range. It does have a 1.2 gigahertz dual-core processor, though. It does support AT&T's LTE network, so I haven't put it to quite the test yet as to how fast it is, but I'm expecting it to be pretty good. On the back, you'll see that there's a camera lens. There is no flash. Down below the display are the three standard touch controls. On the top, there's the 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the bottom, there's the micro USB port. I do like the placement of both of those. The, having the micro USB port on the bottom means you can use the phone while it's being charged, and then having it on the top means you can carry it in your pocket and the headset just comes out. Of course, there's Bluetooth, there's going to be Wi-Fi, there's going to be all the features you'd expect from an Android phone. Here on the side, there's a volume rocker. I could find it when I was on a call, which was nice. And over here is the power controls. All in all, a pretty standard Android device. Does have all the features I need. Does have a dual-core processor. Does have Android 4.0 and the LTE support. Just doesn't go much beyond that. But again, the design is nice. It is solid. It's functional in the hand. So if you need a serviceable Android phone for not a lot of money, only $50 for the contract, you probably can't go wrong with the LG Escape. I'm Ken Sherman, here with a first look at the LG Escape.